Peng Bache Hand. Tucked away in a Buddhist monastery in Pengboche, Nepal, was an artifact thought for centuries to be the hand of a yeti. Known as the Pengboche Hand, it's a long, human-like extremity, but with longer fingers and brown, leathery skin. Legend says that a monk once entered a remote cave to meditate, where he saw a yeti living inside. When the monk returned years later, he found the monster's corpse. The man had allegedly sliced off the hand and the scalp of the yeti, he then took it back to the monastery, where the relic was treated as a ritual object connected to the congregation's luck and safety. For decades, it was displayed for the monastery visitors. The place was located along a frequent trekking trail toward Mount Everest in the Himalayas. In 1957, oil entrepreneur and adventurer Tom Slick traveled to the area, as the story of the mysterious hand garnered international attention in the 1950s. His purpose was to prove the existence of the mysterious creature. After injuring himself along the treacherous Himalayan trails, Slick commissioned brothers Peter and Brian Byrne to continue his quest. In 1959, they negotiated with the monastery to buy one finger of the hand and replace it with a human bone. In a letter written by Peter Byrne, it was claimed, quote, We made a donation of 10,000 rupees to the temple. Only about $160 in today's rate of exchange, but a large amount for a community where the average income might be as little as $15 in a year and the lamas then gave me a go-ahead to take one finger and replace it with another, from the human hand I had brought back from London. This is when the story gets even stranger. It is said that after Byrne transported the finger from Nepal to India, he stopped in Calcutta and met up with American movie superstar Jimmy Stewart and his wife. They agreed to smuggle the finger into the UK, as they believed their status would prevent them from being searched at customs. When the finger arrived in England, primatologist Osmond Hill of the Zoological Society of London indicated that it was from a hominid closely matching a Neanderthal. But not every scientist involved in the case agreed with the results. Years later, the television show Unexplained Mysteries also failed to find a clear answer to the enigmatic brown hand's provenance. It could only be described as, quote, near human. Unfortunately, the rest of the Pengbache hand was stolen from the monastery in 1991. It was presumably sold on the black market into a secret millionaire's private collection, preventing further testing. The Kishtim Dwarf In the summer of 1996, in a rural region of Russia a thousand miles away from Moscow, a retiree named Tamara Vasilyevna was seen walking down the streets, holding something covered with a blanket. She was hugging and talking to it. At about 9.8 inches long and with a dark grayish color, the mysterious creature resembled a human fetus that may have been miscarried. Some of its features stood out. Its eye sockets encompassed half its face, and its skull consisted of four bones, instead of the six usually found in a human head. The mysterious thing was quickly dubbed the Kishtim Dwarf. Still, Tamara referred to it as Alyoshenka, a nickname for men named Alexei. It soon garnered the locals' attention, who firmly believed that Alyoshenka was an extraterrestrial being. The townspeople collected money from interviews when reporters traveled from all over the globe to the region to document the strange case. After Vasilyevna was hospitalized, a neighbor passed the creature to the hands of the police. Several people who came in contact with the creature ultimately suffered from unexplained accidents, heart attacks, and other health problems. A clinical assistant, Lyubov Romanov, who performed an autopsy, claimed that the being was neither a human nor an animal. A doctor from the local hospital allegedly saw Alyoshenka and reported that it corresponded to a 20-week-old human fetus with severe deformities. The Kishtim disaster of 1957, a level 6 on the international nuclear event scale, seriously contaminated the Shelyabinsk Oblast area with radiation and greatly affected the local population's health. The strange deformities of Alyoshenka could possibly be explained by long-term radiation exposure. Be that as it may, the strange humanoid life form and the mysterious events surrounding it further led some to believe it was cursed. Not much is known about the whereabouts of Alyoshenka, as it mysteriously disappeared after the police collected the specimen. A Russian ufologist claimed that the corpse was taken away by a UFO. In contrast, others believed it was sold on the black market to a millionaire curiosity collector. Chicago Mothman Throughout 2017, more than 50 people in Chicago spotted a mysterious flying creature that was believed to be a Mothman. 
on August 9th of the same year, a wife and husband reported a sighting as they drove along North Lakeshore Drive. Lou Stickler, a blogger that's been collecting testimonies about the sighting, wrote on the blog about the couple's experience, quote, Suddenly, the large winged being slowly descended in front of them, no more than 25 feet away. It hovered about five feet above the sidewalk, with its wings spread open as it peered at the couple with large, bright red eyes that slowly altered back and forth in intensity. Several people on the other side of the street, including a delivery van driver, reacted with screams and frightened yelps. The winged being hovered for ten seconds, then quickly pulled the wings into its body and shot up quickly into the night sky. The beast has been described as being over seven feet tall, having a human shape with large black wings, muscular legs, a large tail, and striking red eyes. Witnesses have seen the winged humanoid fly silently through the air, while others have heard it make a terrible sound like screeching car tires or bird-like shrieks. The creature was most often spotted near bodies of water after the sun had set. There have been Mothman sightings all throughout the eastern United States, and the creature is regarded as a bad omen. Several Mothman sightings were reported from November 1966 to December 1967 in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, preceding the sudden and fatal Silver Bridge collapse on December 15, 1967. Some believe the tragic accident, which had 46 fatalities, was brought on by the creature. In contrast, others believe that the Mothman is a benevolent creature and was actually trying to warn them to not go on the bridge. The creature has not been seen in the Point Pleasant area again since. The Mothman is widely known in popular culture. It's been talked about in films, podcasts, and books. An annual festival in Point Pleasant is devoted to the Mothman legend. Baja California UFO On January 15, 2018, a woman spotted a UFO as she was driving down a busy road in Mexicali, a city in the state of Baja California, Mexico. In contrast to other UFOs, this one appears to be of humanoid shape. While the video isn't very clear, it seems like a man is flying, almost as if he was using a jetpack. The frightened woman is heard saying, what is it, in Spanish, as she follows the strange creature. The bizarre video quickly went viral around the world and had millions of views. UFO expert Pedro Ramirez noted that the incident was the first UFO sighting of the year. He firmly believes that it's retaliation for some of mankind's recent space activity, like NASA and SpaceX launches. According to Ramirez, quote, Aliens are aware that we have made a number of space launches recently, and have identified that we've been sending up war material. Concerned by our activity, they've been increasing the monitoring our planet. This will be very important for those of us who follow this phenomenon closely. The viral video of the UFO sighting, however, is the only one available of the event. Since it has not been corroborated by footage from other angles, skeptics aren't convinced of its legitimacy. The Cloud Family In 2017, a passenger on a flight from Warsaw, Poland to London, England, looked out the window and spotted out of the corner of his eye four mysterious humanoid beings standing on the clouds. After getting over the initial shock, the man took this photo, depicting the four dark, thin figures standing motionless as the plane flies by. The witness said to the Mutual UFO Network, quote, I saw these dark, thin figures in the middle of a cloud. It was definitely not a building because we were too high, so I thought they were many tornadoes. There were four figures, too tall and too slightly small. They were close together and did not move at all. They were dark, had a thicker upper body and a thinner lower body. One of them looks like it had wings. I was amazed, and amazed at how everything was deserted. So were these random objects just randomly standing on top of a cloud. I took photos and showed it to my parents and brother, and they could not believe what their eyes were seeing. After the plane went further, they disappeared from my sight. The strange images caused an uproar in social media. Some believe these are condensed smoke columns from a factory or a building. Others say it is only the sun reflecting off of something else nearby. With two tall and two shorter beings, people suggest the group is a family. Professional analysis of the photographs has been unable to determine what precisely the strange beings are. This is not the first time strange cloud-like beings have been caught on camera. In 2016, Nick O'Donoghue captured what appears to be a robot on a flight from Austria to Cork. In this photograph, a square humanoid seemed to walk on the clouds at 30,000 feet above the ground. The photos went viral on Twitter, with some believing the creature to bear a resemblance to the title character of the 1999 film The Iron Giant. <laughs> 